guys, welcome back. It's Bob with Bobby Travels. We're in Minneapolis, Minnesota tonight. And Minneapolis is one of the most populous city uh, in Minnesota with 429,000 as of 2019. And as I was looking for what to do and where to stay, I came across this hotel. I came across this uh, of not only a highly rated hotel, but a hotel with a rooftop pool in the area. I don't know anything about this hotel other than that it has a nice rooftop pool. So I booked it and we're going to check it out together. We are right outside of a hotel, but check this out. I did not know that the hotel I booked was right outside from Deja Vu. Now this is interesting. I may have to investigate what Deja Vu is all about. Right next to the check-in counter, there is a commons area with a pool table and a number of seats where you could actually just kind of relax until your room is ready. As you enter the hotel, you are welcomed by a fireplace and open seating in this cozy little area here. Like the commons area, you can certainly sit and wait here if your hotel room is not ready when you check in. They also have a bar and restaurant on the premises here. Just in case you do get hungry, you could just walk down here, grab a bite to eat. If you don't feel like walking, you certainly can just order room service and they'll bring right up to your room. Keys. Let's go and take a look. Alright, so let's actually take a look at it first here. Lights are on. Let's see what's going on here. We got a bathroom here. Got the toilet. We got some toiletries here. Soap, sink, a nice shower. Take a look at the bedroom over here, or actually the, the bed. Flat screen TV, we got a cool some glasses here. Wine. We got a fridge filled with some goodies there. Of course, you're charged for each of the stuff that you take. And a bed. And I don't think there's much of a view here. I can see Deja Vu right across the street there. And of course, there's a pub right there. But other than that, there's really not much of a view uh, in this room. All right, let's test out the bed, guys. Ooh. Uh, well, it's a spring bed. It's not a memory foam. Uh, it's really soft. Pillows is actually, okay, I think they're comfortable. The best way I, I would say is, of course, we're going to have to sleep on it and just kind of give you guys a, a review on it tomorrow and see how things are on these beds. But I think they're, right now, they're, they are comfortable, but we'll, guys, we'll give you guys a, uh, a better review once we have slept on it uh, over the night here. All right, now we're actually in our hotel room. We're waiting to get into the pool. There is a limitation due to social distancing rules of about eight people inside of the pool at the same time. So we have it scheduled from seven to eight. So we're actually just waiting for it and we'll see you guys in a little bit here. All right, so here we are in 412. This is the room they put us into because the previous room, 225, was just getting so warm. The AC, the air conditioning was just not working. The room was just sitting at 74 degrees. So they decided to put us into this room instead. So everything else is the same. You have your sink here, your toilet over here, and of course your shower over here. Uh, the same thing here, you have the shower head. It's just a stand-up shower. Uh, there is no beam in this room. And you all actually have a, a little bit of a view out into the, the city here. So you can see skyscrapers in the back. And of course, the bedroom or the bed. You still have your TV instead of the TV being on the side where you could pull it out. This one is actually right in front of the bed. So you could actually lay down 
and watch TV at the same time. Otherwise, everything else is the same. You do have your your fridge. You have your your glasses, extra goodies where you can pay for them if you want to use them, hangers, and of course, everything else here. It's that time. Let's get in the pool. of the city and a great drink in hand guys enjoy That's it. We were scheduled from 7 to 8. It is 8 o'clock. We have our replacements now. There's people in the pool now. So we are done for the night. So we're going to go ahead and uh, head out, head back into our room and uh, retire for the night. We just went to the, the pool. A great experience. Now we're back into our room here. We're going to grab some dinner and we're going to come back, rest for the night, and I'll give you guys an update on how the beds are and how the pillows are in the morning. So, see you guys then. Hey guys, it's uh, it's me back. Just kind of giving you guys a, a review of what we thought about the hotel, how we slept. I would say the, uh, the, the con about this hotel here is the TVs. They're not uh, smart TVs, so that means I can't log into Netflix. I can't log into YouTube or Disney Plus to watch any of the shows or just putting it on the big screen there. The other thing here is that we wanted the room to be cool, uh, cooler. The temperature just kind of set at 72 degrees. I thought that it was actually going to be warmer throughout the night, but we actually slept cool, comfortably, without any issues. So that can be a con and a pro there. The, the good thing about this here is that the beds were very comfortable. I didn't wake up with any neck pain, so the pillows were definitely very comfortable. The other good thing about this uh, hotel is they have a rooftop pool with an amazing view. So if you are in the area, check out the Hewing Hotel. It's definitely one to check out in the Minneapolis area here. And of course, if you guys like the uh, content here, please hit that like button there. Subscribe and also hit the bell icon. Other than that, that's pretty much our review. I'll uh, just kind of give you uh, guys uh, an update on it here. And of course, thank you so much for watching our content, following us here, tagging along. I'll see you guys in the next video.